another huge herd of buffalo crossing the Sabi River I think it is.
There's two leopards here, a male and a female. The male is up in the tree and the female was walking along the bottom here. Whether he'll share it or not, we actually heard all the barking going on and the snorting of the impala. And whoa. <gasps> whoa. Oh, it My fell. Gosh. That's no good, bud. And then, yeah, he's calling. Yeah, he's calling again. He's just calling her. Yeah. Looking right at us, sir.
Oh, the look of it, this pack is five pups. Not sure how many adults, eh? Two, four, six here. Eleven big ones. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Yeah. And five youngsters, eh?
All the marabou stalks around here as well. One you can share. Right. <laughs> this is uh, our, our first day at Bakendal. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of it? What do you think about it? The leopards? Well, before we left Loasabi, we actually started out double digit leopard sightings. <laughs> yeah. And we went up the road on the causeway, and as we were going up, um, there was a leopard there, one vehicle only, which was great. And she had taken down an impala, but there were apparently five hyenas. We only saw two as they took some of the kill away from her. As soon as they came anywhere near her, she jumped up the closest tree and waited till they'd gone. Then she jumped down and she moved around trying to pick up all the scraps. Um, so we were with her for probably half an hour or so, which was great. And then when we left her, uh, well, she walked off so we couldn't see any more. We came out the side of the causeway and we started going back towards Lower Sabi. And another leopard came from on the right hand side, walked across us in front of our vehicle. And then the baboons were screaming and shouting on the riverside. So she just stopped, listened, and then she turned around and walked back and went back in front of our vehicle again. So that was our first double digits um, leopard sighting which brought the total up to 11 this trip and then we came down to Bach and Dole um, yesterday or the day before I can't remember day before, day before. <coughs> and yesterday we went up on the 114 and we got to the corner of the 114 and the 119, eh? 119 yeah mm -hmm. and up a tree a male leopard had taken a kill um impala yeah also impala <coughs> so we saw him and then he jumped down he walked amongst all the impala that were on the ground and barking at him and he bark bark grunted grunted bark bark and the next minute we saw a little female walking towards the kill and next minute she jumped up the tree and carried on eating um, but she couldn't hold the impala up the tree so it fell down and then we watched and we saw her and we battled to follow them because the bush was so full of branches and very dry and bushy um, and then we left them and then somebody told us about some wild dogs on the S25 so we went down to the wild dogs we sat with them for a while 11 adults and five pups yep. uh, our sixth pack of wild dogs and then we stayed with them for a while then we decided to go back um, see if... to see if the leopards was there or gone or what the story was and we get up to the junction again and on top of the biggest rock there is the male leopard no, lying. No, female. The female. We thought it was the we male. We thought it was the male but it's the female. <clears throat> and she was lying stretched out on the rock um, when she was flat you could hardly see her so we sat with her for Must probably about two hours, two and a half hours. Two, eh? two and a half hours and um, we looked across the road and there was a tree and in the tree there were on the second hole there were two agamas or iguanas okay. I'd, iguanas I have no not idea sure. what they... hanging on to the thing peering at it at us almost saying well what are you staring at you know and they <laughs> it was so cute to see them hmm. and then um we sat and sat and sat and then she sat up uh, she sat up and started looking and around started and started looking. also grunting again calling for yeah, the male barking the whole yeah, time calling, calling the male calling the male calling the male and then she obviously saw some food in the distance and she 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 crouched, um, crouched. went down into the hunting yeah, position uh, eh? hunting mode and then i never saw i thought i'd see that again after the last trip but i did and she next minute she jumped down and she went after the little steenbok 
and of course it was mayhem with all the cars trying to see and she ran into the bush didn't get it and then we um, followed her for quite a way and she didn't get it she missed it and then we went back to the wild dogs and when we got there they were just waking up so yesterday morning um, yesterday the whole day was fantastic we started out the day with um, four lion sightings on the road from Bachendal to the main road and then three rhino and then our leopard and then down to the wild dogs and that is 25 yeah then back to the leopard um, and then back to the wild dog and eventually coming home at half past five we saw another um, four rhinos wow. so all in all we saw 10 rhinos yesterday so we left at six in the morning and we only got back to camp at, at six at night so a long day only one cup of tea in the morning and one cup of tea at the picnic <laughs> site at about half past one and that nearly killed and that us, was eh? all and and food was um crackers crackers mm -hmm. and um, cottage cheese and that was all we ate the whole day and drank so but luckily drinking so little you don't need to wee so it's fine <laughs> <laughs> anyway yeah. today last night the wind howled and we came down to Malalan this morning and the wind was howling and we dropped off the caravan and we just went for a short drive we didn't see anything we went with a leopard we saw lions so uh, well, we uh, saw a lion. lion sleeping. We'll go back this afternoon. We've marked the point and see what's happening there. But, um, yeah. Well, that was good, eh? Yeah, and we've got one more day. And then six weeks later, we'll be heading home. So it's six weeks we've been in the park. We're going to miss it. Um, we'll be glad to get home to a nice soft bed and clean clothes and clean stuff all together. <laughs> Uh, but once everything's cleaned up, we'll be rearing to go again, I'm sure. Okay, yeah. over and out. Over and out. <laughs> <laughs> See you tomorrow. <laughs>
and we were almost out of food. And out of um, health. Out of, we both had flu. Um, yeah, our clothes, everything needs a good clean, um, but we've had fantastic sightings. Um, Something different almost yeah, every day, eh? Yeah, you know, no two days are ever the same in the Kruger. That's one thing you've got to remember. Um, we're just going to spend the afternoon relaxing, tidying up, going to have a nice latte and a pulled pork jaffel for lunch and then a snooze and then um, just chill basically for the afternoon. And then to all the people out there that watch our video, uh, wherever you may be all over the world, I hope you enjoy watching this type of thing if you do. Drop a comment in the Drop, line. Yeah and like our videos um, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed and we will keep putting them up um, we've got a whole lot that we need to upload um, yeah so we will and people in old age homes wherever people that can't afford to get here uh, families that can't bring their kids maybe to Kruger maybe this gives them a little bit of a idea what Kruger is all about. Uh, hope you enjoy. Over and out. Over and out. <laughs>